Hi everyone, Claudia here from Lighting Clarity. I have your channel messages for the week beginning Monday the 17th of June. Please be with me while I connect for you all. Thank you. All right, I have Lady Kuan Yin coming in for you all. Just bear with me while I make this connection stronger. So Kuan Yin is known as the compassionate. She brings a lot of compassion in. She works quite closely with Mother Mary and Mary Magdalene, in fact, um, she's very similar to them. So Lady Kuan Yin is indicating that perhaps there's someone in your life that's trying to, she uses the words, don't be fooled. That's actually what she says. So she's making you feel there's someone that might make you, might make, may want to trip you up a little bit. <clears throat> someone that isn't being completely or not, completely authentic or completely telling you the truth. So there's different categories with this. I just want to see who they could be and perhaps you can keep an eye on this. Or do keep an eye on this is what I want to say to you or not perhaps. Do keep an eye on this. Just be with me. Okay, so for some of you, this isn't someone that you love or someone that you care about. This is someone that's outside of you. So whether this is some sort of a business deal, someone who's offering to do some sort of work on your home, someone you have to liaise with. I feel as though, for some of you it is male, um, that there's something they're supposed to be doing and they don't. This could even be a distant relative um, that you don't feel completely safe around and that you don't really like. Trust your intuition is what Kuan Yin's message is to those of you who are in these categories. Trust your intuition. If you don't feel you can trust the person, if you don't feel they're being completely authentic with you, they are not. And I'm opening my eyes so you hear me and you see me. So that is what she is saying through me. All right, bear with me. Some of you second guess yourselves, especially when others question you on things. She says there's no more second guessing yourself when others question you on things. You need to put your foot down. You need to be solid in your own self and solid in your movement forward and solid in what it is that you want for yourself. And she said, you're allowed to change your mind. Don't allow yourself to be, there's someone else around you, not someone who's going to trip you up, but someone who's going to be a bit, oh, really? Is that what you really want to do? You know, no, 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 she says. You be strong within yourselves. You step forward. Do not second guess yourselves. Start trusting what you're feeling. Trusting the road that you want to take trusting the decisions you make don't allow others to i guess trip you up i'm also seeing a female as well with that okay all right we'll keep going now <clears throat> so there is a solid road um that is coming in for each of you for a while, some of you have hung back and you're not sure whether not sure whether to go left or right or what this is all about. And you seem to be with everything up in the air. She shows me there is a solid road now starting to form and come in under each, excuse me, of your feet. So this road's going to surprise you because it's going to be offering you in the distant future not too distant, I want to say immediate future to distant future, immediate future, in between immediate and distant, we'll put it that way. It's going to be offering you something that, something different than what you have actually done before. So I'm seeing ideas forming and you going, you know what, I think I'm going to go and do, do this particular journey, I'm going to go on this big trek or I'm going to actually change jobs or change career or there's something different you're going to do in the future that you're not doing right now and that you never thought you would do. So he shows me, 
that change of circumstances coming in and that decision to move in a different direction. And it's on a positive note. And you look forward to it when you do decide this is something you'd like to do. So she says it's time for each of you to start lifting your vibrations and start looking from a heightened perspective down on the things that are around you and the things that are in front of you. So she talks about lifting your vibration. Interestingly enough, this is something that was said in a reading today for one of my clients, is when you lift your vibration, you're able to make clearer decisions because you're able to see more clearly around you. When we're feeling low, it's difficult to make a decision. It's like we're at a fork in the road and we can't see which way to go. Um, you can't make decisions around that, she says. Now in closing, so there's a project um, that some of you have already got on the back burner that you've already looking at, wondering about, contemplating about, and maybe slightly excited about. It's not something you've told everybody about, not all of you anyway, and she just shows me there is that project that's there. I just want to know what this is for, what, what she wants to say about it anyway. So she says you'll be quietly surprised because it will come to fruition what it is that you have put on the back burner and you have been wondering about and working towards or walking towards, working and walking towards. It's like you've been sort of looking after it, nurturing it, watering it every so often, pulling out the weeds around it a little bit. You haven't been doing heaps, but you've been doing a little bit and you've been doing a bit on the quiet for some of you. And she says this per project or this thing whatever it is um, that's been sitting on the back burner for you will come in and will come to fruition and you'll be quite nicely surprised as it does she makes me feel there's going to be two options here that's going to be offered to you. two options she said, don't box yourselves in. There's two options that were presented to you um, and they're good options and you'll be able and you will take one of those options. They are an offer. You don't have to take them. They are an offer that are being added to your life, these two options, and you'll decide which option that you're going to go with and they will add to your life. They will make a difference. And it's, a nice, it's another nice small surprise. A lot of surprises this in this uh, reading today <laughs> I hope it happens to me as well normally it does as well some of the things that were said um, I know what I'm looking out for so it is the same for you all this is just really really good to hear all this because I know a lot of you have been struggling um, and I'm seeing it in my readings for those of you you know the readings I do every day for clients and the healings that I'm doing I'm, I know that there are a lot of people have been struggling in different regards not everyone but some people have so it's good news it's good news in this this uh, this channel message today which is brilliant So she says, get your running shoes on, get ready because you're absolutely going to fire forward. They're the words, you're going to fire forward. So you're going to move forward very quickly. So she says, I want you to be ready for that as that escalates and you are pushed forward. Very good. So she says some of you are taking your time and you're looking left and right and you'll say you're being aware of what's on your road. She says continue to do that. Be aware of the signs. Look for those opportunities that are coming in. Look for those signs that are on your road. Those prompts, they are prompts that are going to prompt you in to the avenues you're meant to move into. That was interesting because some of this was similar to the, news, to the newsletter that was sent out on Friday. If you haven't subscribed, jump on my website and subscribe. Um, and she's just bringing this in. Beautiful. I'm really pleased for you all. 
I want to thank her for coming in. All right. Well, many blessings. Please keep look that this week for my advertisement um, for working with me one on one, where I'll be teaching my healing um, spiritual tools to you, which you can use in your family, for yourself, for your lives, and especially for those of you who run spiritually based businesses. These are basic tools that I will be teaching that I use as my secret source in my own business, if you like, um, and they're quite effective and they are easy to learn, and you'll have many handouts. Um, and of course, the one on one time with me to ask as many questions as you need. So you can look out for that advertisement as it comes out this week. Many blessings. I'll see you all again soon. Thanks, everyone.